It is very gross looking on the skin. Looks like a little poop. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so as you can see, I have old makeup on. We're gonna do a nighttime skincare routine. Now, I wanna preface this by saying, when I do my skincare routines, it's never this in depth. I'm doing the most because I'm filming. <laughs> Usually I try to keep it very simple. I'm using a bunch of products that I've got from like subscription boxes or those old glossy boxes. I I got my hardware ready, okay? We got a little headband, our wrist wear, and let's go ahead and get into this. The first thing I actually did not get from subscription boxes. My homegirl got this for me for Christmas, and it is the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Now this stuff is amazing. This little melting cream will literally just like, you see I've dug all up in that, okay? I've gotten all up in that. This little melting cream will take everything off. I'm talking eyeshadow. I'm talking eyeliner. I'm talking mascara. And mascara is usually one of the hardest things for me to get off. I always have like these dark like circles under my eyes after I do my makeup. But ever since I've been using this, my makeup is completely off my face by the time I'm done washing everything. And I really attribute it to this cleansing balm. Take a generous amount. I'm just gonna get a little bit more up in there. And then I like to put them at points of interest and then just start rubbing it in. I really wanna try the Elemis cleansing balm and see if that one's better than this one, you know, cause it's more expensive, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll come in one of my little mystery or subscription, whatchamacallits. I always do my lips last. I don't wanna taste this balm, right? Like I'm pretty sure it does not taste tasty. So I always do my lips last. Now I'm going to just go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just wipe all of this off. These makeup wipes are by Julep. I got these from a glossy box. and voila, pretty much gone. Now, obviously that's just like the first cleanse. I'm gonna like do a full blown cleansy cleanse. This is my little makeup wipe. Next, I'm actually gonna try a new cleanser. This is the Pure Less Watermelon Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. I got this in one of my mystery Ipsies and I'm super excited to try it out. First, I'm just gonna wet my skin and then I'm gonna get into this cleanser. My face is nice and wet. Ooh, okay. This is what it looks like. You can definitely tell it has charcoal in it. It smells amazing. My skin is nice and cleansed. Now that I have cleansed, we're gonna go ahead and go in with this Gold Fadden MD Doctor Scrub. Y'all, I'm in love with this stuff. It is literally amazing. I'm gonna start by wetting my face up one more time. I don't like to do these scrubs on dry skin. It's so much better if you do it while your skin is a little bit wet. That way you're not like ripping layers off of your skin and disturbing your, uh, what they call it? Your... Skin barrier? That's what they call it, the skin barrier? The barrier of the skin? All right, so my skin is nice and wet. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just put it on points of interest. You don't have to rub super, super hard. You literally just like massage your skin. I do not apply like a lot of pressure at all. The towel is already doing like a physical exfoliant on your skin. So with this, you just wanna gently rub that in. This stuff smells really good, by the way. And since I already have a scrub on my body, well, my face, which is part of my body, so. Since I already have a scrub on, I'm gonna go ahead and do a lip scrub too. For my lip scrub, I'm actually going to use the Aceology, and it is the Passion Fruit Refining Lip Scrub. Get into it. I love that packaging. It's just so freaking pretty. It's just like little goop. Smells amazing. It doesn't have that much grit to it. I'm 
we are all scrubbed up. I'm actually gonna put my face in the sink and get this off. Trying to get off a scrub with a towel, don't do it, don't do it. It's not gonna work. The little bits are gonna stay on your skin and it's just gonna scratch your skin even further. So make sure you just use a straight up water and just rinse it all the way off and then pat dry with the towel. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. My skin is nice and exfoliated. We're gonna try this Glow Juice by Earth Harbor. Let me show you guys this. Now this is an AHA, BHA, Refining Enzyme Mask, Red Seaweed Fruit Enzymes. And it is just like the jelliest of jellies. I am so excited to try this. <laughs> Look at that, just like the weirdest texture. I'm just gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes. Nothing longer than 10 minutes because this is a chemical exfoliant and I just like physically exfoliated, so not trying to burn my skin off. Like I said, I would never do this much in one night. I'm filming, so I'm doing the most. I would never do this much product or these many steps in one night. Let's be serious. Who got time for that? It doesn't look like I have anything on, but I most certainly do. This has like a real alcohol scent to it. Five minutes later. My skin feels so freaking tight. Like, bruh, I can't even smile. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm not gonna wait 10 minutes. That's just, it seems a bit excessive for 10 minutes. And since we're doing the most, we're gonna go in with another mask. Now this one I got in my BoxyCharm and this is by Volition. It is a chocolate macadamia hydrating mask with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen. This stuff smells amazing, but it is very gross looking on the skin. Looks like a little poop. Doesn't it look like a little poop? This stuff smells delicious. Bruh, it looks like I just went diving into some mud, but I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and then I will be right back. And we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off my face and we're gonna get to the next step. This chocolate mask smells so good. <laughs> smells like dessert. My face is officially squeaky clean. Now we're going to go in with our last mask. It is the Rael Beauty Collagen Plump and Smooth Facial Sheets Masks. And this is what this looks like. I got this in my Allure Beauty Box, my first one. Love the packaging, it's just it's so cute. This thing is like soaked. These always look so scary to me. It smells like a hospital. You know, that hospital smell. Don't look beautiful. And I'm back. It's been about five minutes. I'm actually gonna take the essence from this little sheet mask and I'm gonna just add it to the rest of my face just so that I get all of the products. And I mean, why not? Why not put it all over my other skins? We'll be back in, well, it's just me. I'll be back in five more minutes. And I'm back. This has been on my face for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Mommy, where'd your face go? That actually felt really good. And I'm just gonna like rub that essence in. It's like very cooling and calming. I might have to go get some more of those. I actually really like that. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Now that that's that, we're gonna go ahead and get into the products that I'm actually going to leave on my face. I am going to bust open my rock, okay? My little rock capsules. I don't use them every single night. I don't really have any like aging issues. I'm not too concerned with aging problems. This is just more, you know, for the experience. I just squeeze my little thing on there and then just gonna rub that into my skin. 
feels so good. All right, so I am serumized, coated in serum. Feels good, feels great. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with a facial oil. And this one I got in my BoxyCharm and it is by Feel. And this is a squalene facial oil. It brightens the skin because it has a vitamin C in it. This has like a very, very light citrusy smell. And honestly, you don't need a lot. Like I just do the slightest of squeezes. A little really goes a long way. I am going to be glistening. Talk about glass skin. And I try to rub it down into, into my neck too. Next, I'm gonna use my Loctitane. This little itty bitty thing that came with the squig. I'm gonna use just a little bit under my eyes. Is this a youth cream? Don't know what a youth cream is supposed to do, but I'm just gonna put the ittiest, the bittiest amounts on there. Like I'm going into a football game. And I'm just gonna rub this in underneath my eyeballs. All right, I am youth. I was gonna say euthanized, but that means something completely different. Now that that is done, I am going to go in with my Ren skincare. Now this is a Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I actually really like this as well. It has a soft citrus scent, just like this little facial oil. And I don't need a lot, cause I already got a bunch of stuff on my face. Let's be serious. All right, I feel so moisturized. But wait, there's more. Next, I'm actually gonna try this pistache skincare with, with pistachio oil, hydrating moisturizer with vitamin E. I got this in one of my mystery ipsies and we're gonna go ahead and give this a little try. So it just comes out like that. Just gonna put a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Not too much, cause we already got a lot going on. Put that on the neck, gotta get the neck. And next is my old lady cream. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Elemis. Just get like a little bit, a little bit on my finger and then just da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, right there. Gotta go in with the old lady cream. There's a lot of moisturizers. Like I said, I'm doing the most because I'm filming a video. That's pretty much it. I don't do this every night. I'm not gonna lie, if my skin feels like amazing, amazing, like tomorrow morning, I might do this more often. <laughs> just have like one day out of the week where I just do the most. We're gonna go ahead and take care of these crusties. First, I'm gonna go in with the Egyptian Magic. I got this from my Allure Box. I'm just put a little bit on my lips. And then last, but certainly not least, by any stretch of the word least, I am going to put this Cobb Cosmetics. I had to pause and think about it, so I didn't say cosmetics. My Cobb Cosmetics lip oil. This stuff is like amazing. Absolutely love it. And that is it. Y'all, my skin actually feels really good. I thought my skin was gonna feel like it's like burning and wanting to rip off because it was just so many steps and so many products, but my skin actually feels really, really freaking good. I am trying to heal my skin. As you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I have some breakouts. Once my hyperpigmentation is gone, y'all mofos can't tell me nothing. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so you, I mean you, can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.